these fucking billionaires. Goddamn, a billion dollars. How could you even ever in your lifetime spend a billion dollars? Who needs a billion dollars? And, and uh, actually, and et cetera, et cetera. And a lot of people, you know, wrote at least three, uh, said, no, I said, Jim, what would you do with a billion dollars? And you're, you know, or you're right. These billionaires, they got too much fucking money and nobody can justify needing a billion dollars. Right. <clears throat> so I just, I jotted this down just real quickly. Um, what I would do, would you like to hear this, Brian? What I would do if I had a billion dollars? Yeah, I'm curious. Yeah. Okay, now that's because a lot of these billionaires, they don't just have a billion, like they're worth multi-billions because Vince, technically on paper, the WWE is worth over a billion dollars, right? But but some of these, like these internet fucks and and all these people, they've got multiples of billions of dollars. If it had it have invented computer things and such and carrying on, you see it on the, on the news. So I'm just saying one billion dollars. There's tons of billionaires in the world now. If I've got one billion dollars to my name right now, I tried to think what everything in the world that I want. I, I would want a new Ford Expedition to replace Black Beauty. Uh, I'd want the landscaping here at Castle Cornet and and plant some more trees, put in some improvements. Um, but I had a hard time figuring out anything that I really want in the world that I don't have now that would cost more than $250,000 if you stacked it all up. Right. <clears throat> so I figured, well, I, I, I can't even do math that small when I got a billion dollars. So I'm going to take a million dollars. I'm just going to buy everything right now that I want. So that leaves $999 million left right out of a billion. So I, I say, well, I'm going to take $25 million and put that in a, some, a trust fund for, for Stacy. And that way, it, it, by the time she gets it, it'll be worth hopefully 35, 40 million. So that's boom. That's done over there. But now I'm, I'm going to need money for us, you know, until I die, obviously. Right. And let's say, am I going to live 25 more years? People would be horrified at the thought. And I don't believe that. But let's say I got 25 more years and I'm going to live on just me and just Stace are going to live on just $2 million a year, right? So there, there's fucking $50 million. Now I'm set that back. Well, what's that noise in the background? Oh, that's Harley playing with her, her little <laughs> squeaky ball. Hopefully she gets an allotment of this two or billion dollars. I should well, say. she's, she's actually, when, when both of us go, she's the trust for her. She's going to be, you know, the richest dog in the world. But anyway, I've given $2 million a year for me and Stace to live on for the next 25 years. There's 50 million. I've put 25 million in a trust fund for Stacy when, after I'm gone and I've blown a million dollars in cash. Now I'm going to find 20 friends and family members. And uh, believe me, there ain't that many, but I'm 20 friends and family members. I'm going to say, okay, all you guys are millionaires. I'm giving you a million dollars piece. You might make that cut, Brian. I'm not sure you do this idol show much longer. <laughs> after I do that, after I've made 20 millionaires, I got $50 million to live on for the rest of my life. My wife has a $25 million trust and I've bought everything in the world I can think of. I currently want, I've still got $904 million. Now that seems like a lot of money. Am I shorting myself on this thing? I better keep another $2 million a year for myself for 25 years. So now Stace and I have to live for the next 25 years on only a hundred million dollars. Right. And then I'm thinking either I'll find 20 more friends and family or more likely I'll go back to the same 20. Cause I really don't have that many friends and family and I'll give them each another million dollars. There's another $20 million, right? I've still got $844 million. So next we got to help some people. I just mentioned the crusade for children not long ago, right? And they have raised about 160 million or whatever the fuck in the last 60 something years. Well, since I've, I've got an odd number, $844 million, I'm going to give them $144 million. Almost as much money as they've raised in the past 60 years for the, for their kids. And that way I've only, I've got an even number left. I'm down to 700 million, but goddamn now I got a lot of money left. So let's give the crusade for children another hundred million dollars. Why not? There's $244 million for the kids and I've got 600 million left. Well, there's a lot of diseases in the world. Well, let's give $250 million to science for cancer and AIDS and typhoid and whatever all the big diseases are these days. And if I give them $250 million, I've still got $350 million left. But of course, Harley has friends because there are hungry, needy animals 
homeless animals. Animal welfare and care needs to be, let's give the animals $100 million. Now I got $250 million left. So let's, okay, now we got elderly homeless people. I'm not talking about the fucking homeless asshole that's fucking 35 years old and more able-bodied than I am standing on a fucking street corner with a sign. I'm talking about elderly people who are homeless. <clears throat> Especially there's going to be more of them since Trump's taking away everybody's health care and cutting meals on wheels. So let's give $100 million to homeless elderly people. Now I've still got $150 million. All right. Well, I guess me and my friends might be a little short still because I've only got a hundred million and they've only got forty million. So let's give fifty million more dollars to me and my friends just to make sure. And I've still got a hundred million dollars left. And this illustrates why, if you have a billion dollars after basically keeping about a hundred and fucking seventy-five million dollars for you and your fucking friends and giving a hundred million dollars to hungry, needy animals, two hundred and fifty million dollars to curing diseases, two hundred and forty four million dollars to crippled children and a hundred million dollars to the homeless and the elderly. You've still got a hundred million dollars left. That means you have too much fucking money, motherfucker. You just don't know how to spend. You have too much fucking money, motherfucker, and you don't need that much money. And somebody needs to put in a goddamn tax or a fucking estate tax or a goddamn prick tax or a tax of a motherfucker that just got lucky in the right place at the right time tax and give somebody else part of that billion fucking dollars that you don't fucking need, motherfucker. And I believe we have just illustrated that right here with a simple mathematical exercise. I would buy the New York Mets or possibly the city of Detroit. (sighs) And uh, you know what I would seriously do if I had an endless stream of funds? I would do what I could to purchase every single available piece of wrestling history and create a uh, preservation society for uh, historical artifacts and, and research materials for wrestling, uh, a central location, a nice building where people who actually care about wrestling history can come to screen old matches, go through files, see newspaper clippings, results, posters, whatever it may be, an actual centralized location where I have enough money to really do it right and buy collections that people have something to, to help professional wrestling history. All right. All right. You've actually, you've changed my goddamn mind. You have a hundred million. Fuck. No, fuck the kids. <laughs> fuck the animals. <laughs> fuck the elderly homeless. We're putting it all in the wrestling museum. That would be even better. And uh, no, you went with the hundred million left over Do the wrestling museum. And there you, and I, I agree with that. And actually let's take 50 million or so. Oh, let's take 40 million away from my goddamn fucking, uh, 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 friends and, and family members who are going to try to bleed me dry. Cause I'm a billionaire. And let's give it to, to let's give it to the to the uh, the Cauliflower Alley Club or to some foundation that could be arranged or set up or created to benefit the guys after their wrestling days are over with. How much would it cost you, since you're the billionaire, to buy the Louisville Gardens from the county or the state, whoever owns it, and renovate it, fix it up, and put it back into operation? Oh fuck, that's chump change. I can do that out of my checking account. If you know, because that's remember I've got a hundred million dollars in my checking account. So no, that would be yeah. We might actually I might move into the Louisville Gardens. Just renovate to have the castle jacked up and put take the castle downtown, <laughs> put it right in the middle of the Louisville Gardens, and then I got three foot thick concrete walls in between me and the outside world, which would actually probably alleviate a lot of my fucking phobias. One last thing I'll say about the estate tax, because, you know, you and I don't necessarily agree on every aspect of this. One of the things that also bothers me is it isn't just about cash. It's about overall assets. So let's just say, hypothetically, using this example, Jim Cornette is a billionaire. It doesn't even have to be a billionaire. It could be you're worth $20 million. You're worth $50 million. They don't just say, okay, you have $20 million in the bank. You have $20 million in your checking and savings and investments. They'll say, okay, we need to bring an appraiser in here and figure out the value of your wrestling video collection, your magazines, your posters, everything else. And then we need to auction that off to make everything just cash. You know, that becomes a part of it. That becomes a part of what's taxed or all of the assets, not just the cash assets. Oh, well, okay, okay, but... Think of the farmer. Think of the farmer who 
they do that to their land. Oh, but Jesus Christ, the, uh, what is the cutoff? The tax doesn't affect you unless you have more than such and such, and such million dollars. Is that a lot of farmers going to be in the, you know, tens of millions of dollars or whatever? Depends on the valuation of the land. Well, I don't know what to say. Otherwise, I've got my billion, so fuck them. No, I, I, That would be amazing if you moved into the Louisville Garden. I'm talking about a, a billion dollars after taxes. And by the way, if I, if I if actually had shit worth a billion dollars, I'd still be living in this house. So I'd basically just cash everything out. And just like Granny Clampett at the Commerce Bank, just go in and tell Mr. Drysdale, I want all my money in cash in this wheelbarrow, and then I'll be bidding you a good day. 